up from Indonesia, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Sitawa. Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan are two names synonymous with Indonesia badminton. The men's doubles duo had amassed numerous accolades, including a five World Super Series title haul and a World Championships crown in 2013, a year that saw them finish as world number ones in men's doubles. The following year was a bit of a roller coaster season for the pair, although they grabbed gold at the Asian Games and claimed the prestigious All England Open title, 2014 was mostly plagued by Assam's back injury. Disappointingly, the pair could not defend their world crown or any of the World Super Series titles. But in 2015, Assam and Hendra staged their comeback and showed their intent to the rest of the field by winning the Maybank Malaysia Open, a World Super Series premier event. And then came the big one in Indonesia. Inspired by the raucous voices of home supporters, the local heroes threw all their energies into reinstating themselves as world champions. They've done it. A second world title for Hendra Setiawan and Mohamed Hassan. I was disappointed with 2014 because I was frequently injured. But finally, in 2015, we made our comeback when we became world champions. I felt delighted, even though we didn't do well at some of the tournaments before that. And the pair finished 2015 with a bang at the season-ending tournament in Dubai, reclaiming the World Super Series finals crown they won two years earlier in Malaysia. So, all in all, 2015 was quite a successful year for Indonesia's top men's pair. But the two-time world champions were modest about their achievements. We are very grateful we are the world champions again and also the champions in Dubai. But we have to continue to improve ourselves so that we can win more titles. Currently, all our opponents are very strong. We've not only lost to the Koreans and the Chinese, but also to players from Hong Kong and Denmark. We need to stay focused. Regardless of whether the pairs are higher ranked than us or not, we have to stay competitive and be prepared all the time. The pair carried their winning momentum into 2016. They got onto the winner's podium at the Thailand Masters and played a crucial role in Indonesia's victory at the Badminton Asia Team Championships in Hyderabad, India. Asan and Hendra's wealth of experience at the top level was also called upon at the recent Thomas Cup. Together with veteran Tommy Sugiarto, the duo guided a young Indonesian squad to the final day of the prestigious men's team event. Although Denmark spoiled the party for the 13-time champions, Asan and Hendra are satisfied with the team's performance and are heartened to know that the country's legacy in men's singles and doubles is in good hands. The next generation of men's doubles looks promising. After us, there are Anga and Ricky, and then there are Kevin and Gideon. I hope they will work hard so that they can become champions. As with the doubles, the future of the singles players is very good as well. They need to continue to improve, even though they are still young and are already good players. They have to continue to work hard as they have a long journey ahead. Both Asan and Hendra know firsthand about hard work and commitment. It's what got them to where they are today. Ranked number two in the race to Rio rankings, there was never a doubt that Indonesia's top men's pair will make the cut for the 2016 Rio Olympics. The multi-event competition is nothing new to them. Asan was the 2012 London Games quarter-finalist with Bona Septano, while Hendra was the 2008 Olympic champion with Marcus Guido in Beijing. Indonesia has a proud history in men's doubles. Rexy Mayanaki and Ricky Subakja won the gold at the 96 Atlanta Games, while Tony Gunawan and Chandra Wijaya clinched theirs in Sydney four years later. There are high hopes for the world number twos to bring gold to Indonesian soil once again. 
and the boys are not letting the pressure get to them. We don't want to think too much about it, as we don't want to affect our concentration. Whatever the outcome, we just need to be prepared. Our opponents have always been very strong, so we always need to work harder, train harder, especially now that there are a lot of younger players who are fresh and energetic, and we need to keep up with them. We just continue to focus on our training and make sure we work hard and keep improving. With the summer games just around the corner, preparations are heating up for Indonesia's number one male tandem. In keeping with tradition, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan will of course be aiming for the sport's biggest prize. And we know that they are more than capable of achieving it. Since it's once in four years, we will definitely go all out and give our very best. No one knows what will happen in four years' time, if we are still playing or not. So now we give our best in our performance and leave the rest to God.